In this Excel 2013 tutorial, let's focus on printing uh, your document onto one page and make it such that it squeezes and fits onto one page. Furthermore, let's practice some key useful shortcut keys. So I'm going to begin by typing in the number 10. So after I type in 10, I'm going to type in 20. And for those of you who recall autofill, you highlight the first two numbers you look for a black plus sign and you drag it out. So I'm just going to just go yay big up to maybe uh, perhaps uh, 60. I'm going to type in the number 11. I'm going to highlight two numbers. I'm going to drag out the autofill all the way down. So let me just uh, go down to around uh, 46 or so. And you may notice a dotted line. And the dotted line represents uh, that it's going to print on another page. If you don't see this, you might see this if you go to the view, the view uh, tab and just click on page layout. You can clearly see that it's printing on another page. If you click back on normal view, you should see the dotted line. You can even go to file print or control P and you can see that it's cutting it off at 40, 50, 60. So what we can do here is choose the printing setting here, no scaling, to fit on one page. So fitting on one page, you can see all my document has been shrunk down such that it all fits onto one page. Now of course if you have too much information, it's not appropriate to make things shrink down so much such that you can't read the text. So let me press escape or hit this little back arrow button. And let me show you one more thing that's quite interesting. So what's a very useful shortcut key? I'm going to type in control arrow key. So when you press control arrow key, I want to share this with you. Try moving your um, selected cell to A1 and now press control right. Hold down control right arrow. It takes you to the end, to the last, uh, to the last column. Now if I press control left, it takes you back to the beginning, to the first column. Now if I press control down, it takes you to the cell with the last, um, it takes you to the last row. And then if I press control up, it takes you to the first uh, row. Now what's interesting is if I press control right and then control right again, it takes me to the last possible column, control left, left, control down takes me to the last row and control down again takes me to row 1 million plus which is a huge row. Let's press control up, up. So the idea of navigating quickly in Excel using the control arrow key is very useful. Of course you can always also press page up, page down, page up, page down which jumps page to page. It can be useful you can use the arrow keys. Arrow keys are useful for moving one cell at a time. And finally you can also use your mouse wheel. So the center mouse button, if it's in the shape of a wheel, you can just scroll it and you can fly up and down. And this is also very useful.